Remember the do-it-yourself version of Unbound? Well, on June 1, we all ride Rebound. Starting 6 a.m. sharp, from any desired point, you ride your own gravel route. No fees, no time limits, just fun. And this year, we're stepping up our Rebound game. Four candidates, two top-level coaches, three months of training for that grueling long day. Join Polly, Jarle, Willy and Sophie on their adventure this spring. This is their road to rebound. Welcome to the long way home. So a little bit more about the application uh, process. We had to narrow it down for more than uh, 300 applicants to these four lucky ones. And what we actually did, we tried to um, yeah, come up with, with four um, cyclists from, from different levels, different backgrounds, different uh, purposes in life, but also on the bike. And um, yeah, I think this, this, is a, this is a really nice group. So the four lucky ones are uh, Willy from Belgium, we have Polly from the UK, uh, Sophie from the Netherlands and Jarle from Norway. So this is the fun part uh, where we are gonna call the four lucky ones. We're gonna make some people happy. Are you aware of the Dutch show uh, the Postcode Loterij? No, <laughs> it's a little bit the same. <laughs> cool! <laughs> Downstairs! <laughs> Willy, where, where are you? Hello. Where are you? I'm in Alcudia, Ma uh, Mallorca. Is it, right now. Is it holiday or training? training camp? Training and holiday. Training is holiday for me. You're in! Oh, you crazy! <laughs> you're in! Congratulations! So excited! <laughs> so your holiday in Colombia just turned into a training camp. Okay, yeah, that's absolutely... <laughs> wow, that's amazing! Yeah? Oh, thank you. Yeah, that's brilliant! Thank you so much! Where are you? Uh, I'm at uh, work in my office in the hospital. <laughs> Wow. We, we have some good news for you, man. We've selected you to, uh, to join us towards uh, Rebound. Wow, that's fantastic. Thank you very much. You're in, mate. Look at the smile on this face. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know he's going to bust your balls, right? For, for three months. <laughs> <laughs> no worries. <laughs> I've been bitten before. <laughs> Jim, day one, D-Day. Excited? Yeah, well, not especially for me, but uh, for we've the participants. Met, we've met them, right? Yeah, yeah, we did. Klau? I didn't. You were going <laughs> to coach them, you know? Yeah. No, I saw Sophie. She yeah. happened to be on bike holiday in Colombia, so I saw her one week ago. But the other three are a mystery for me. What are you looking forward to uh, most, having, having seen the, let's say, the profiles? Actually, I wanted to buy a whistle. Yeah, and yeah. act like a real coach. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's my part, right? Yeah. <laughs> we can make that happen. You know, actually, <laughs> no. I like to see the progress. I like to see the yeah. joy on the faces when they uh, when they have some good results. I like to see also like maybe the reality check we just we go to give them. Uh, so yeah, looking forward to the whole process. Guys, welcome to sunny Amsterdam. I hope you guys have, uh, have had a good night of sleep. Uh, important because today is an, uh, is an important day. These guys, Lawrence, you probably know him. Jim, our cycling professor. He will, uh, let's say, educate you guys today and get you all set up for, uh, for a three month journey. And at the end of the day, we'll, uh, we'll get to the important stuff. The 20 minute all out max effort test. It will be fun. Again, welcome, have fun today. 
uh, this is day one of the long way home. I um, read about the uh, Rebound project when I was in uh, Colombia and I saw it and I thought, oh yeah, that's not something for me. I, I, I don't like to be in the center of attention. I don't feel comfortable at all. But I was so confident <laughs> over there, so I thought I'd just give it a try. I, I wanted to go to Colombia for, for a long time already to, to go backpacking, explore it. And then I saw the um, uh, documentary on the Chimba and I thought, okay, that looks like an amazing adventure. I'm always looking for uh, adventures. So I thought I'm, I'm just gonna, gonna try. I, I'm gonna book a ticket and I will see what happens. The adventure is, is calling all the time and uh, the gravel is something I have, to, I have to learn. So that's why I'm here as well. I have to learn to ride gravel and then maybe more adventurous stuff will come as well. When I get to my strongest is when the weather is sick, when it's raining, when it's windy, when it's snowing, whatever. Not because I'm getting stronger then, but I look at the other ones suffering in that brings me up, then, then, then I get... <laughs> they, at the, the triathlon club, they used to call me Diesel, because I'm a very slow starter, but they say you're hard to stop. <laughs> so once I get going, I can keep going. I'm going to introduce you guys to JOIN. I'm going to tell you what JOIN is and also get you guys set up so you can start your first training today. My name is Ko Wilse. I'm a data analyst at JOIN, meaning I look at the behavior of our customers. So I look at how often do they cycle, when, what kind of trainings. But also I'll be able to look at your data so you guys can't hide anymore. I'll see what you guys are doing. So what is JOIN? Well, JOIN is a training app for cyclists who want to improve. So you can say, hey, I I can see what you're pointing out to me And hey, is this your point of view? Cause babe, if this is it, I'm screwed Well, you tried to lay it down We did the rebound last year and I rode 80 kilometers on the route we planned. Um, I just really want to be able to, you know, go further, go faster. And I was like, oh my God, someone's going to help me do this. I could actually achieve what I want to do. I'm going into this and I'm just, I'm going for day by day what I've got to do. I'm not going to overthink it. I'm not going to worry about it. I just want to go with it. I just want to enjoy it. And I don't want to get in a, in a state of panic. I get up about uh, 4, um, uh, 4 a.m., uh, 4.15 a.m. I call it early morning, but my friends, they call it night. I ride mostly indoors. Uh, last year was uh, probably a record year, because then I rode, uh, in 2023, I rode um, 34,000 kilometers, and I had almost 1,100 training hours, so it was quite a lot. Yeah, regarding the FTP test, I think uh, it is a reason why I haven't done it yet because uh, I think it uh, will be very hard and uh, I'm pretty, pretty anxious about it. So you're doing an FTP test? Yes. You've never done something like this before. No. What are your expectations? Um, I think I'm gonna get really sweaty. It's gonna be like going up a nasty hill for 20 minutes. I don't know. <laughs> I could just fall off the bike and die. I don't know. <laughs> How does it feel standing next to an FTP test instead of, instead of, instead of sitting on a saddle? 
actually it's the first time I, uh, I see it. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. I never did. Uh, I always had to do them myself, but I never was watching somebody else. I think the most common mistake is start too fast and then yeah. die, you know, and then you cannot deliver the power anymore. So try to explain them how it has to feel. Yeah. And how, how does it have, have to feel? So the first five minutes fairly fairly easy. Then uh, the second five minutes you feel like you're pushing and then the third five minutes is actually shit, you feel shit. And then the fourth five minutes you feel like you're going to die. <laughs> <Even shitter. laughs> yeah, you feel like, oh, I don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> Actually in the worst part now. Okay, come on. This is uh, this is just a little bump in the road. We're almost heading towards the last five minutes. Once you pass that, it's just five minutes. Come After on. that, it's downhill. Wally's killing it. Billy's killing it. Come on, Billy. Let's push. Three, two, one. Yeah. yeah. Billy, how was it? As always, <laughs> so I yesterday yeah. <laughs> in the middle, I think I went a little bit too hard because right. normally at the end, I can the last two minutes, I can like die. Yeah, and now it was, I don't know, yeah, but you're happy, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. But it, well, this sounds good actually. If you have too much left in the tank for the last two minutes, then you, yeah, should have done a better job halfway, halfway you yeah. know? so. The fact that you couldn't accelerate towards the end is actually, it's, it's a good sign. Your first ever 20 minute all out test. Yeah. Suffer fest, right? Yeah. And it's really weird being on the... Yeah. It's really weird. It's, I'm just well, actually what Lau was saying, doing this on, a, uh, on an ergometer is, yeah. is, is kind of tough. Yeah. 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 You freaking animal. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you're the first guy I ever saw did a 20 minute test standing. Oh, yeah. I usually stand when I work hard. So. <laughs> <laughs> did you ever see that, Jim? Uh, well, there are, it's kind of like Michael Wood style, right? Yeah. Yeah, a runner turned cyclist. Then you end up getting this. And if, uh, if you watch uh, the eSport athletes, they do a lot of standing. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. So feet. You were experiencing, you were experiencing some, some troubles, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, still, what, what still, was happening? I don't know. Yeah, the, um, uh, the cadence. Yeah, it was. Uh, but were you still actually, were you still able to perform the test? Yeah, I hope so. Yeah. I hope so, yeah. Still doing it now. Yeah. You're, ha you're happy it's over. <laughs> I'm really happy it's over. It's 20 minutes. It's a total mindfuck. Yeah. <laughs> FTP test done, professor. Yep. Takeaways, please. What did you see? Here, this is just a starting point, yeah. you know? There, there's not much to conclude. This is just, okay, we know where they are at this point in time. Now, let's try to yeah, get better for the next three months. Did your coaching work, coach? Oh, I saw all four had more than expected. Yeah. So, I would say yes. <laughs> Last thing. How much time between the race and the beer? Because we two yeah. hours, Jim says, yeah. but I think we're going to take a few beers on this. Yeah, yeah. No Let's go for the deep breathe. All right. Okay. Here. Day one is done. Let the training begin. Will Polly be able to put in the miles needed in order to ride the full distance? Is Jarla going to improve still? Will Sophie still enjoy riding her bike when training instead of just riding? And how about Willy? How will he respond to the joint way of training? Find out next time in episode 2 of The Long Way Home, The Road to Rebound. Hi Polly! Yeah, I think it's the endurance part. The biggest challenge for you. Don't you, what do you think is the biggest challenge? I mean, it's double the distance I've ever ridden before. Yeah, yeah, and that's a lot. You know, we need to be yeah. honest about that. Based on the FTP test, we ended up on 195, right? Okay. Which is pretty solid, because that makes it an FTP at three and a half watts a kilo. When we have like the route established, 
we also try to have like a target duration and a, and a certain fueling plan and that might be the challenge for you to like try to complete it within that would be cool and don't get me wrong there's still room for doing some ftp races but we also make sure that you also like for 80 percent of the time yeah stick to the workouts that are scheduled for you like your ftp is on a high level we really need to get that endurance in there as well because i have the feeling that you sometimes like push yourself a little bit too hard yes yeah, so uh, now you did 229 on 20 minutes and that uh -huh. resulted in an ftp of 218 but of course it would be really cool to see your yeah ftp go up and according yeah. to our model you might be able to end up with an ftp of 240 watts yeah i believe you have the right ambition for this whole project and for the next three months let's start training